In this video, I'll be showing how to store a user answer and also how to see if it's right or wrong or how to have the program know if it's right or wrong. So the first thing I'm going to do is here in my first method, make the only object I have in my scene right now, which is an elderly person, say something like how much is 2 plus 3. And now I'm going to have the user be able to interact with the program and write whatever they think the answer is. So first, since I know I'll be storing the answer, I'm just going to make a variable called answer, or I could also call it user answer, and then its value type is going to be a number, not a text string, because the question I'm asking, the answer to it won't be any letters, it'll just be a number. So I'm going to pick whole number, and then I'm going to initialize it to zero for now. So to make sure that this variable can store whatever input the user wants to type, I go to functions, and here in get integer from user, I drag that here. And in custom test string, all I have to write is just what I want the little text box that's going to pop up so the user can write their answer. Basically what I write here is what I want the little text box to say at the top. For example, type your answer. So now after that I want to be able to see if the person that typed the answer was right or wrong. Also, I want them to ask how much is 2 plus 3 before they have the chance to answer. Because if I leave this at the beginning, then they're going to have to type an answer to a question they don't know. Because everything in Alice always goes in order. So now, what I want is an if statement. Because if their answer is right, something is going to happen. And if their answer is wrong, something else is going to happen say how much is and then I'm going to add number one or whatever I choose to be number one and then a custom text name for plus because that's actually going to be shown it's a text and then another whole number number two so there how much is number one plus number two that way here, all I have to do is then compare user answer to actual answer. And so my actual answer is going to be, I drag it down, and this is called redefining the variable. So I'm going to redefine it to be whatever num1 is plus whatever number 2 is. And that way I don't have to constantly keep doing the math. And so here, I can quickly just change it and say, oh, and now it's going to be 3 and 1. So now when I run it, how much is 3 plus 1? I'm going to type 4. And there you go, correct. But then, if now instead I type 3, wrong. But this makes it easier because anytime I want to change these numbers, I don't have to go back here and fix my math and have the user answer equal something else. I just change it once here and the computer already does the math for me. So those are kind of the two ways that it could be done. And the main part to notice is that whenever you want to get something from a user, whether it be a text, a true or false, or a whole number or decimal number, you always go to functions and you get something, get boolean, get string, get double, or get integer, which is what we used here. 